Read oh, yeah. So I read all the DMs, uh, I mean, the negative comments, because it was love, hate. Okay. So to roast it, I just printed out some of the funniest, but I named them. Tony Soprano said, um, you're a disgrace to the Italian community. I never want to see you ever come to Italy again. I hope the mafia kills you. <laughs> I, so I just like made up funny names for each comment. Like you could totally, yeah, yeah, like the guy yeah. that wants your shit. You know what I mean? Like you could come up with so-and-so, but make it sound like that was his stupid name and then read them. It'd be funny. Like you got to make up crazy it. names for each of those. I would totally do at least five, three to five at the top of your show. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what I, I mean? During your show. Well, I was thinking too, like so many, like I get like these long DMs too, like people like, like I'm like reading them as like poems, you know, like having like piano, like light piano music and like reading, like some of them, like they sound like haiku. Like it's like, it's like the crazy. crazy. If they're not dirty, you could even do a TikTok of them. If it's not, you know what I mean? Obviously you can't cross boundaries on TikTok, right? Do they get rid of well, no, you can't, you know, it's like, you got to be somewhat careful, but like there are ways to cover up swears and like, oh, you know, okay. Yeah. It's like, you know, kind of like hide words. Right. Right. But no, that would even be funny on TikTok if maybe like once or twice a month, it was you like singing. I've done that. Mute. I made a song of, of comments that I get. Yeah. And like, just do it in a song. That would be cute. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously not the one about eating shit in a cup, like save that for your show. Cause that's brilliant. Yes. Yes, I know. Okay. I'm working on that. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to gather, you know, it's a, a gather it's a, up those outrageous X rated ones and for yeah. your show. That will be hysterical. Just insane. Yeah, no. <laughs> that, that is like on the list to be added. Cause... Yes, and that would be very funny. Um, uh, oh, I, uh, Lauren, do you got one? Oh, I was just going to say, what is the strangest thing that like someone has at, like requested for you to do a video of eating? Well, besides their arm. Besides their genitals. Um, yeah, besides yeah. the lore. Um, well, so, I, you know, like, it's more of, like, objects of things that, like, you know, one person was, like, you know, fit your washing machine in your mouth. It's, like. Yeah, just, like, stupid shit. Yeah. You know, like, but most stuff, you know. Like I can do, like, you know, when there's a will, there's a way, you know, like if I really put my mind to it. How many chicken nuggets did you eat the other day? 15. <laughs> Somebody in class was talking about something about what they did. And Sam's like, I should. I know, well, that's like, you know, like everyone's like, nuggets around. in my mouth today. Mm-hmm. How about you? I know. I like never want to raise my hand for that because I'm like, I. You want to um, know what I did? I was successful today. No, that was funny. It was, I just couldn't remember the number. Yeah, it's, you know, it's one of those silly things and it is, it's like crazy to watch and they go, you know, it's, I always joke too. It's like, that's kind of like my lazy postings when like, cause those take me two minutes. I don't have to think. I literally can just, I have a list of like all the weird requests of, you know, food requests Mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, I have 10 minutes to go to McDonald's and shove some 15 chicken nuggets. Like and yeah, there's your content like, for the day. That was an easy, right. Day. It's like the easiest content because it's like, you know, it's just that it's so easy for me. So it's like, you know, it's like the other stuff that I literally got to think, edit, do all, you know, like all the tricks with James, like this stuff is like the easiest, you know, it's like when, you know, when you see me doing that, it's like, oh, she needs a boost and videos again, you know? <laughs> okay. So you have a live show coming up. I saw. Yes. Couple. couple. Okay. What do you got coming up? Um, I do. So I also, first and foremost too, I started an improv doing, um, I was at UCB, did all four levels, just doing a bunch of improv there. Um, pre-COVID and so I do like I do kind of with this restaurant I do some fun hosting nights so I'm going to do some improv I do like spill your secrets live where I like bring up people so I'll do so like probably like 10-15 minutes stand up and then I also do some I'm trying to decide if I do a secrets game or do a dating game um where I bring people up on stage and try to either match make them or make them share all their deepest darkest secrets so that's on the 24th um and then I have Oh, well, this is probably more for anyone who's in like Fairfield County, Connecticut. Um, 
I'm doing a comedy night at full, oh my God, I keep calling it full house, but it's really yes. called half full, half full brewing company, but I keep putting it called full house. So are you, uh, so, is there a bunch of com- comics? Nope. I, well, so we, as you know, like I, I have, so I have a friend who just plays guitar with me and um, kind of helps. And then obviously I bring James up too. Right. Like I literally, so it's like a one woman show. So I do, I'll do like 15 minutes of stand up, 15, 20 minutes probably. Um, and then I do some, I write music. So I have my own comedy songs that I do. So, oh, that's kind of like, that's brilliant too. Yeah, so normally I'll do like a monologue, you know, like a set, you know, like right. and a song, set, song. Um, and then I'll do some sort of interactive game. So like normally I'll do again, spill your secrets live, or I will bring people up and do like this, you know, ask them where, you know, whatever weird questions. I have some sort of game that I play. And then, um, I do a mouth challenge. So I'll always like, I'll have one person come up and challenge me. Like I've been doing donuts, like I'll bring donuts to a show. So I always like do some interactive crazy shit at the end, but it's a little like, a little bit of everything it's like and then at the end like we'll do like song requests like I, we like one of my friends who's really good and we're trying to work to get it better but um we're one like write songs like on the spot about people because he's really good at writing songs so we were trying to get better at it and feel confident enough because like it's so risky to be able to do that you know because it's yeah. just like you gotta like really commit and like man I'm know, scared gotta- to do crowd work yet alone well, it's like, you know, luckily it's like this safe place because like, you know, I, I do have these followers. So it's like everyone that goes there already knows who I am, you know? So it's like people are in on it. I bring James, you know, I show James people go crazy because they, you know, they know James. So it's like, I'm not doing it in front of people that I have no idea who they are, like who know, who have no idea who I am. So like, it just makes me comfortable. I'm like, all oh, these people already know me, you know? Like, I feel like if I was going to go do it at like, you know, like, I get more nervous when I'm going to like open mics, you know, because I'm like, so many people might not know who I am where it's like, why? You know, and you're just, and you're, I am. No, yeah, well, no, I've been doing comedy bit. three years and I'm a tight 20 as I'm like, you know, woo, a tight. Yeah. Yeah. So hard to get material that works and do, you know what I mean? It's, it's a nightmare. So yeah, you do. Okay. Is, are you married to James? No, nope. that's your boyfriend. Boyfriend. Do you live together? Live together. Yes. He's downstairs making me dinner. as we speak. How long have you been together? About six years. James going to try to marry uh, you? Um, no, I have severe daddy issues. So um, I don't believe in marriage. All right. So um, I'm in therapy for it's like maybe one day eventually. <laughs> maybe like, one day. Like, turn a leaf and be like, you want to talk about trauma, trauma because I just read a book. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Like, all my trauma. I literally, <laughs> like, my life is trauma. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, comedy, comedy. And I'm like, I just read a book about trauma. Yeah. yeah. That she texted me the other day, a couple of days ago, like, oh, I just read this whole book on trauma. And I'm like, all right. What book is that? <laughs> Uh, yeah. The body keeps the score. Yeah, the body keeps the score. Great book. So great book. good. So good. Everybody right. knows about this. Yeah. If you've been in like deep psychological therapy for like 20 years, you probably have. Or I've, a year. Or <laughs> <laughs> I have never. No, well, I, it's, it's, it'll, it talks a lot about, yes, like literally. No, but I need, I, I do need to go to therapy, but I can't find a therapist and I'm, been with a therapist for 19 years and she won't let me even search for a therapist until she has their name because she wants to make sure that they don't know her each other. I mean it's I'm like I won't mention your name you have to see a therapist that lives like in your state but outside of the range of her right I don't know I, I've never I, I went to therapy a couple times and it was stupid it made no sense uh, I had to go for my weight loss surgery and it was just her like talking about my, my kids and how are your kids doing? And it was pretty much me entertaining her with laughter. Yeah. I'm like, oh, what am I in here to, uh, to do stand up for you? That's kind of what I feel like too. Like, and, but now I've read a book about trauma, so we're going to get dark. <laughs> No, for sure. Yeah, I mean, but yeah, it's no, it's, you know, you got to feel them out. I've had many, 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 many therapists. Oh, you have. Yeah. You, I, you can't even find one now. They're all booked. Yeah, There's no, no it's like dating. You were no. like interviewing each other, feeling out, like figuring out if you're a good match, if like you can 
benefit from each other, them by money, you by getting better? I don't know. I went online. I, I called like 30 people one day. Yeah, because- no, I was, especially since the pandemic, like I was on a waiting list for a while because it, it just like an insurance has started covering it. And then it was free for some people. So yeah, it's so everyone's like so fucked up right now. Like therapists are like, uh, my niece is 16 okay. and she's okay. been going to therapy for a year because all the other kids are doing therapy and it's the really cool thing to do. And it's like the TikTok generation all has to go to therapy. And if you don't go to therapy, you are not cool. And, and it's not a bad thing, I guess, but it's, that is the thing right now with that generation. Yeah. yeah. So they've hogged all the therapists for us who really need it. Okay. Like they're young. They got they're time. Young. But they're, they're getting things taken care of now. So they're not like right. us. I, no, but here I am at my age. I've also come to this conclusion at my age, by the time any therapist was to fix me, I would be dead. So why bother? There, my time is over. I have never you gotten a I'll send you some. Sam. I mean, I sent her a dog you. one, but it's not the same. <laughs> no, someone sent me a picture of Nixon and said, ah, there's your dick pic. Listen, I've never gotten a dick pic. I have never been hit on. I have never yeah. been sexually harassed. What the fuck? And I know it's, I know it's not, you know, I mean, a lot of people right now are like, oh, well, you should be thankful. But honestly, I feel hurt a little. Yeah, it's like reverse trauma. You're like, where's my- Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Where? What about me, really? You don't feel included. I don't. Well, there's good news for you. I can make that happen. You know, I know people. If you, if you need one. <laughs> and then I had a friend of I'm gonna mine. I'm going to tell James to send you one. I'll go talk to him. <laughs> oh, James. <laughs> oh, James. <laughs> oh, it's like my joke. I don't, I don't think I've done my full set in the class yet. Mm-mm. Like my new one. No, we, and we're all close enough where, you know, we got to do a show. No, we are. So here we go. We're going to plug yeah, that really quick. Show. I'll fly to New York. No, we are. Forever. So let me tell you when me and the beautiful Samantha are going to be together in the same room. Yes. Yeah. When is. When uh, hold on. Let me let Sam know. Um, yeah. <laughs> also, Sam, you got to send me a headshot for the poster. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday, October 12th, five, five shows that week that I'm there. So I, I'm, well, I'm coming in special, was coming in for a Thursday night show at Greenwich Village Comedy Club. And it's the Oz Festival. It's a gay and lesbian um, festival. So I'm doing a show that Thursday night. But since Sarah and everybody else hit me up, they're like, oh, we're going to all come in. I'm like, all right, I'll come in early. Yes, I have a show Wednesday night, actually, that Wednesday night. Where? At Westside Comedy Club. I'm going to bring all the girls. What time? Yes. Um, 7.30. I'll, yeah, I'll send a message to you guys. You guys should come. Yes, actually, yes. Message like me because. Leader. Like, there's, like, Dean Edwards is going to be on it. Um, Chris Miller House. Like, some, like, really, like, amazing, like, really, like, I'm just, like, going to, like, shove something, like, down my throat or something. But. No, you're going to do great. But I. Again, though, this, this is when it gets tough is when they don't know who you are. Well, that's, you know, so like, that's why like, I'm really trying to, that's why I have a bunch of like, I'm going to some open mics trying to coming up to like, really. Yeah. Anytime you want to Zoom, yeah. just me and you, I will totally go over with you. Yeah, um, sure. I will help you with your punches, your tags. I, you know, I mean, let me know. I can definitely help you tighten it up. That'd be awesome. So, yeah, I mean, um, Sam, you're amazing you're amazing thank you for for having me and i mean do you have oh my that was my quick question before we go real quick is there a way you could track where your followers mostly live is there any way definitely okay and that's why so many of them i mean a big majority obviously i live in stanford connecticut so like right. for like a smaller city like new york city connecticut area um, Philadelphia, funny, I have a big Philly, but it's a lot of East Coast. And then of course, you know, LA, like some big cities, obviously naturally, but most majority is New York City, 
you know, um, White Plains, 